Last video, we made it to chapter six and oh boy, the camp is not doing well. Everyone is very much not themselves anymore. They are, they, they've lost it a tiny bit. Molly was killed. Apparently she's the one that ratted us out to the Pinkertons. And Miss Grimshaw, Susan, shot her with a shotgun. <laughs> and one thing I didn't notice right away was, I know she was a traitor, but they asked, but Susan asked her to burn her body molly's body and everyone else has had a funeral and i thought that was a i wouldn't say nice detail but you know what i mean yeah now we are ready to start chapter six i'm nervous and excited so let's get started i think maybe we should start reading the journal i think it's been a while oh wrong button since we did that at least a lot has happened since we did so yeah, one thing I would like to go and do as well is to potentially find some of the camp members that we lost. Like, some of their graves. Um, we could try to do that eventually. Did I read this? My lord, what a goddamn mess. Everything, the bank job we planned so hard was a goddamn setup. Hosea got himself killed, Lenny got shot in the head. I think I read this because I was like, didn't he just get shot in the stomach? He didn't get shot in the head, right? Marcin got himself arrested. We're gonna go save him today. I hope so. And it's awaiting trial. We fled, le leaped on a ship, sailed into a storm. The ship sank. Whole thing, whole thing like a dream, like like a fool's nightmare. I survived that. And being lost at sea. And got washed ashore on an island called Guama. Whatever Tahiti is like, I hope it ain't nothing like Guama. Some nasty bastard named of Fusar had the people by the throat and we ended up in a fight with a goddamn army. Javier nearly, nearly died. I nearly got killed. Met some real decent folk, brave folk living in a land of hell. We got a boat out of there just about after some real nasty fighting. Don't think I met many folk deserved a killing more than the that piece of sh shice Hussar. Upon returning, found the folk again. Found the folk again. At least them as ain't dead. I swear that the way they they wrote some of the sentences back in the day, I, I can't keep up. <laughs> but within a few hours, the Pinkertons had found us. Had found all of us. Old Agent Milton. Uh, once was all dead and yet somehow we survived and are now planning another escape. Not sure what happens next. Whole thing has been hard on us all. Most of all, most of all on Dutch, who seems half crazed by all we've gone through. Yeah, he uh, he's out of his mind. Turns out I'm not very well, got tuberculosis. Doctor did not know how long I would last. All them bullets shot at me, all them horses threw me, <laughs> all them fights, and it was beating up that pathetic little fella Downs that killed me, I reckon. Oh. Oh. He's the only man I've been near who's real sick. He begged for mercy and I beat the bastard and he died. Now I'm dying too. The way of the world. My mind is racing, of course. That monk and that nun. Down's widow, Abigail. Mary. Dutch, when I first knew him. Hosea, my, my dead pa. The no good bastard. The whole crowd of people. And what kind of man have I been? What kind of man am I? What world is this we live in? A land of fury. Or a land of love. Am I being prepared for eternal damnation? Am I past any kind of saving? Is that all fairy tales? Man ain't got much good in him. I ain't got no good in me. I don't think, and yet I see goodness. I see it, if not in me, in good folk. In Abigail and her love for Jack. In that silly monk. In Downs, I guess. Begging not for himself, but for the poor, even though he was near starving himself. Maybe I don't want salvation. Part of me has always longed for death. Well, here it comes, I suppose. Oh, man. 
Again, doing Mayor Limic's dirty work. I think that's how it's spelled. His first name is Henri? Henri? Something. <laughs> Only he spells it Henry. Oh, like that. Okay. Because my French is nearly as bad as my English. <laughs> Same. Now I was threatened into threatening a newspaper man into donating to the noble cause of truth and learning. I had to make this guy support a library. He didn't want to. Then he did. Found a fella caught in a bear trap a while back, decided on a whim to save him. Then he bumped, then bumped into him uh, in town. A guy gave me some store credit as thanks. I guess it's sometimes pays to help folk out. <gasps> Dear. All blackmailing Limix has himself been threatened has himself been threatened by his own assistant, a chap I never liked too much name of John Mark. I think. So I go hunting for John Mark. Only John Mark is a noble believer in truth and honesty. I cannot stand his boss lies. I'm charged with killing him. I cannot do it. John Mark is irritating, but the mayor is worse. The mayor is all that is bad in those who rule over us, and it ain't my business at all, so I let him live and let them deal with it themselves. I guess I'm through with politics. Eva Hollow. Molly ratted us out. Dutch broke her heart, so she told the law about us. Explains how they found us so easily, I guess. Love does strange things to us all, even stranger than hate. She turned up drunk and mouthy and told us all this. She was so pathetic I wanted to spare her, but Miss Grimshaw put a bullet in her anyway. Guess it was right. Guess there weren't much of a choice. There's always a choice. This was in our new camp. High in some nasty uh, country. Badlands as... Headlands or as bad as we can find this far to the east. The place we are holed up used to belong to a bunch of murderers, the Murphrys. Or some nonsense like that they call themselves. We shot some of them, but there is some more lurking in the woods around this place. Don't think we have a long here before the law or the Pinkertons find us again. I just hope we can keep ahead of them for a while or ahead of ourselves. Huh. So Mr. Downs is the culprit, huh? Well, not really, but you know what I mean. Couldn't he have sent Micah to, to collect that debt? That's too much to ask for? Okay. We don't have any food. Amazing. Uh. Oi! <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, Arthur. Okay. I think we pretty much talked to everyone. And I think some of you mentioned that. How are you on space in that bag of yours, Mr. Morgan? Okay, Just he can't still craft things. But I think some of you mentioned I can also go and buy them at a... What was it called again? What was it called again? Trapper? Not the Trapper. Was it the Trapper? Oh my god, I keep forgetting what they're called. There's the Trapper, and then there's the defense fences. There we go. <laughs> I think it was. A tr I don't remember. Okay, so we gotta go and collect some depth. Depth for. I'm sorry, it's late. <laughs> for Strauss. So there we go. Big brain fart moment, oh my god. Hey. Hey, Karen. What is wrong with you? Relax. I'm just... Oh. 
Are you kidding me? Yeah. Oh. That was very counterproductive. I'm sorry. Guess that's that. Happy days. All we can do is move on. Anyway, I'll lead to it. Sure, Arthur. Are they sitting in the same chair over there? Come have a seat, Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, can I share a seat with the rest of you? <laughs> Uncle, Ain't much joy around this campfire. <laughs> How are you doing? Oh, I feel like a horse ran over me. <laughs> oh my God! Just keep your fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it's glad somebody's feeling good about all this. <laughs> Have faith, Mr. Morgan. I was like, are they just sitting next to each other and it's like a illusion? Or are they actually sharing the same chair? Hi, Arthur. Hello. Hey, Charles. Hey there. <gasps> What the hell is going on? We're trying to make plans, Morgan. Keep your nose out, okay? <sighs> this is crazy. Well, don't give up on everything just yet. Whatever, Black Lung. I might be... They... Did we tell Sadie we were sick? I, I don't recall Arthur saying that he's sick after we got the bad news. I might just be, you know, having another another moment of uh, forgetfulness. But I don't recall at all. But I guess it might be like a given with how we're looking and sounding. But black long, really? Love how. Yeah. Gotta love when they come up. Easy, easy. With new nicknames. Is it the same guy from Valentine? Hello, sir. It is. I, I'm not coping very well with life, my friend. <laughs> Same. He won't send me the message. He won't. I, I, I've been here for, for years and nothing, nothing. I... Are you the signal? I don't think so. How do you know? How do I know? How do I know? <laughs> well, I don't know. And my horse don't give a shit. <laughs> All right. This uh, little river lake thingy. You didn't see that. You didn't see that. I can't show it. I'm sorry. YouTube doesn't like it. I did see comments about, you know. Cutting him down. Okay there. I could go and do that, but I can't show it. Okay, I'm gonna do it, but I'll have to cut it out. I'm really, really sorry. All right, got him down. Never press on a note. Okay, I was ambushed. 
by the guys already. I didn't even get the chance to to uh, get him down. Lord forgive me for what I have done. I could not take another day of torture at the hands of those grubby men. They say that hell awaits those who resort to self-murder. Can that be any worse than the goings on in that infernal cave I will soon see? Wait, so he hung himself? I hear whistling. There were only three of them, so it wasn't like a big deal. Whoa, easy. What else is dead here? Oh, is that one of the guys I shot? It probably was. <laughs> yeah. Why are they whistling? Are they communicating or something? Maybe. Anyway, I'm sorry about having to, to cut it out, but... You know, I don't want to risk the YouTube gods getting mad at me. I don't want to get myself in unnecessary trouble. <gasps> oh my god, look at that. The lake with the mountains. Gets me every time. I love it. Gotta love it. Oh, this is where we went hunting with Hosea. <gasps> oh. What a throwback. Oh, there's a stranger mission here too. Wait. Okay, we might do that afterwards. Gotta see what that is about. Oh, it's over there. Okay. So what about the bunny? Remember that. Easy now. And John Weathers. Is he perhaps by the carriage down here? Or the wagon? Oh my guy, it's your unlucky day. Uncle Arthur is here. Buddy. J. John Weathers. They asking. call me Snow Goose now. Whatever they call you. Snow Goose? You borrowed Why? money off of Leopold Strauss. The bills come due. This ain't the best time, sir. This ain't the best time for anyone. Mr. Strauss knew it was a long-term proposition. The debt is due. Okay. I got supplies meant to last through the winter. You can take them. Just, is there any way you can help me? I stay out here. There won't be anyone to pay you. I ain't here to help. I'm here to collect. We're all, all of us up against it. Look, there's men after me. <laughs> They're killers. I ain't a deserter, just an objector. It ain't right. If there was another way than running, I need your help. Shut up. Please. I... Up here, it's him. It's too late. Form up, we shoot on sight. I clear off, sir. Ah, shit. Well, seeing as I'm here, I'll, I'll do what I can for you. Oh, Lord. Arthur, could you get in cover? Jesus. Woo! What do 
you having that wagon? Oh, it's a oh god. Disappeared. The yeah, what you gonna pay me with now? It's all right, my darling. You can come out. Oh, crap. Crot. I probably should have. Helped you fix the damn wagon. We could probably still save something. Really now? Look, you can take the silver locket for the debt. I don't know what. Damn oh, so... it, Dad! Okay, there Get we go. Get her somewhere safe. Go on. Thank you, fella. I was like, you know, there what does that mean? In this world, that's for sure. But you, I don't know nothing about counters. You do, Arthur. You do. Don't need the money. Like, we're loaded. I know it's not for us. It's for the camp. But I'll pay the debt. Whatever. It's my treat. Let's go. Should we loot the poor fellas? Oh, rock. There we go. Didn't stand a chance. I'm gonna get in trouble for that. Don't set yourself on fire. I have a history with that. Don't do it. Open land. My god. Ten cents! Let's go! This guy paid it. 79. Amazing. Okay, girl. Can we see? Oh, we can actually still see it. It's very close to where we are. We might as well go have a little fun. Yep. I don't reckon Strauss will be very happy with us, but we'll deal with that later. I also need to cook some meat and meat. In all day. See, in here? Hey! You there! Hello? Can you help? You in the trees? I literally do not. S oh, there you are. <laughs> oh. His leg! Yes, I see you now. Can you help me, mister? What's the problem? My goddamn horse got spooked and run off. Are you hurt? Not too bad, at least. But he took my damn leg. Sorry. Oh, he does he... that way, I think. An artificial? His name's Buell. You? Buell? Second time a prick named Buell cost me a leg. Huh? Buell was my general when I lost it. Oh, okay. Anyway, if you see an angry bastard of a horse... With my wooden leg, I'd be real grateful. I'll bear that in mind. Search nearby for Buell. Well, I'll take my Buell. Let's go, girl. Yep. Mm. 
Easy. Whoa. That's gotta be in. There he is. Oh, he's pretty. Am I gonna spook him? Oh, he's gorgeous. Easy does it, eh? Better calm you down. He's a Dutch warm blood. Okay. Take it easy Oh, so pretty. Oh, it went right through him. Whoa! Ah, just a scratch. Here we go. There's a good worthy. Okay, boy. You cannot be mounted right now and must be led back to the bedroom. That's what I was trying to do. Here we go. Beautiful horn. Hey! Could you please come with me, sir? Thank you. Now come on, then. Let's get you back. Just where you left. Can't go far with that leg in your stirrup. Can't go bucking him like that. You better be good, you hear? I get the notion he's not a man you want to cross. No matter how big and strong you are. Martha, you're so cute. <laughs> I guess he didn't learn the horse to whistle command. It's very handy. Keep him. I like Buell. I found him. You're a good man, Mr. Mr. Arthur. You're right. He's a brute. <sighs> Hamish Sinclair. Yeah, he's a great horse. Aside from when the devil got him. Hey, you wanna hand me that leg there, please? And while you're at it, give old Buell a kick for me, would you? No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> Warren, but a snake that spooked them. They're a real gentleman, you know? Sometimes, maybe. Yeah, how'd you lose a leg? Oh, in the war. Cannonball. Pretty clean, though. I don't have much pain, and I didn't get any gangrene. A young boy went into battle with me, got cut in half, so all things considered, I'm doing pretty well, I guess. Yeah, Sheesh. I guess. <laughs> so, uh... How is the false one? It's okay. I can still hunt, fish, enjoy the outside. Weren't sent too crazy by it. Anyway, I ain't got much to pay you with. Don't worry you about know, it. That's okay. You like fishing? You can come with me someday. I know some pretty good spots. Uh, I'm a pretty poor fisherman. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm great. So between the two of us, we do okay. My cabin is right over on the other side of O'Cray's run there. Thanks again. You throw me again, you old dumb bastard. I'm gonna put a bullet in you. I'll see you again. Please don't. He's too gorgeous for that. You better not. I'm not going fishing with him. What a nice man. I like him. We'll come back to him. Um, let's see. I kinda 
You guys told me that we should try and return to the lady that lived up here. And I really want to do I want to check up on her. I just don't know if it's too soon. I don't recall how long it's been. But since we are going to go to Ansberg anyway, I think we might as well make our way up there. And then once we've checked, see if there is anything, we're going to go and have a little fun in Ansberg. See what's up going on in there. And I guess we're gonna come across this guy's cabin. And I guess we'll also have a chance to hunt a little bit some more for some meat. So Arthur can get some food. I really love this area. Hell, I want a cabin here. Legendary animal territory. Wait, what? That's not a beaver. Is that a badger? I have no idea. Yep. We'll do that at another time. Like, if we're gonna go to this guy's cabin at some point, then... I might as well wait hey there, since fella. I've made some other plans. God. Get back. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh god, I missed! This is the best horse in the world. We just rolled into a wolf and it didn't even flinch. That's a brave girl. Interview three star by any chance? No? <gasps> Let's go! I'm assuming we're gonna get meat from it. We actually get big game, okay. Like, by the time this video goes up, it's gonna be December. <laughs> what world is this? I cannot believe... What, we've been playing this game since... April? I know I have not been the best at uploading, but that's still... insane. To me. That it's been that long. That it's almost 2024. Like, my hope is to finish the game <laughs> in time for the new year, but I don't want to put my nose too much up for it. I have, however... Oh, uh, should we bring it? Let's bring it. Could sell it. That's not what I was going for. But, good thing is, I have almost finished Spider-Man. So, soon I'll be able to focus on this game. Hopefully be able to finish it. I wouldn't say quickly, but you know, I, when I'm done with Spider-Man, I can just focus on this. And then we'll see what we're gonna play next. I'm not gonna play Red Dead 1 right away. Just because this has been such a long journey, so I feel like I'm gonna play one game. One or two games before that. I know a lot of you. All right, girl. Well, a lot of people have been waiting for 
Dark Souls 3, so yeah. maybe Dark Souls 3? I'm not sure. Don't hang me up on that. There's so many games I want to play. Oh, snap. Stupid bastards. Who do you think I am? They just wanted to pay that guy's debt. Oh, nice. What is with the music? All of a sudden, I don't like that. Come on, girl. Idiot. Hey. What does that say? Easy. Amberino? Can I please? Okay, can we try and get that challenge out of the way? Because it's it keep every time I jump over something, it's just like. Yeah. Oh, then you're not gonna jump it this time. Ah. Oh, come on. Probably easier to do if there's a fence. We'll see. Yeah. We'll get it. Gotta love the the moon shining through the trees. That's so cool. Ooh. Yeah. It's kind of giving me horror vibes. Oh wait. Okay, we still have a little while to go, but I also saw some comments that we should go and check up on the scientist see what he's up to apparently we can do that no. oh black bear can they actually turn hostile I've only seen them running away Gun in there. That's not good. Can we go in through this door now? Professor? Where's your creation now? What? Oh, the f oh god. Discover. Oh. Electric lantern. I can't loot him. Yeah, what did his uh, little from the door? It looks like it broke out. If I get jumped by a big giant robot, I will scream. What the hell? I don't like that. There's just a big scary robot out and loose now. I should say Tin Man because he was not worth much when we saw him the first yep. time. That's a little bit sad. 
He had such big dreams for that thing. And then it kills him? Like that- it was quite a lot of blood. So he didn't just get electrocuted or something. I have unopened mail? Is that from the fish we turned in? I think it might be. We can go and collect that once we're in in Ainsburg. Yeah. I swear, if something happened to the sweet lady up here, I it might be too early to return to her. But they... that's loud. I was about to ask if the door was open. Actually, a little bit scared. Okay, I'm gonna try and go up Come here on, after we've slept a couple of times, maybe. Because I don't think it's been that long since we we've been up here. It's fine. gonna go back to camp first you know to get rid of the cargas and the pelts and then we're gonna hit to Ansberg okay Who's there? it's your mom me. Wondered when you'd roll back in. all right Hopefully we can also cook the meat that we have. That would be nice. Haven't received anything from you in a while, Mr. Morgan. There is a good reason for that. Now this I can work with. We need a perfect wolf carcass for crafting. Oh well. You can well sell done, that Mr. for me. The rest I think I'll need. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Five of five animals handed into Camp Trapper. What does that mean? You know, Arthur, I can always make you a new satchel if you're tied on the face. What do we need a wolf carcass for? Wolf skull. Oh. Sure. I think you're gonna be popular after that. You're all welcome. A few changes never hurt. I can take some crackers. Bread roll. Thank you very much. Also, I don't like how Micah said that they were making plans. I see straight through you, Micah. I ain't the problem here, Morgan. You might have Dutch fooled. Why do you let yourself get so head up? Not me. <laughs> You're rattling the wrong cage. Sure. 
always am. Okay. Let's make some food for Arthur. Last one. We actually already had like quite a bit of meat on us to cook. We will only gain the benefit from consuming a certain amount of food. Okay. Let's give Arthur some rest. Let's sleep into him. That's fine. Look at that, we actually gained some weight. Amazing. Two shave. How dare you talk think to Uncle like so that? Clever, don't you? What, you think you're better than me? Yes, I actually do. To carve a country for man's desire and not some gold world juju. I actually don't think I am. I know I am. Wasn't that a beautiful fantasia, Arthur? If you say so, Dutch. Such a beautiful dream. So poorly rendered. Huh. Okay. Guess I'll see you later then. Fine. Hey, Billy Boy. Williamson. Arthur. We should talk. We got nothing to talk about. Sure we do. Yeah, yeah. Sense some tension there. You're so drunk, Karen. Karen? Hey, Karen. Here we are, Arthur. Cheers. Hate to see you sad like this. You can keep your pity. Oh. Pearson? Make a big pot. I'm starving. Mr. Morgan. It's gonna be all right. No, it's not. If the Pinkertons don't kill us, we're gonna kill each other. Just try to stay calm, all right? I love how when everyone is a mess, reverent, is yeah. the one that's actually pulling Hello, himself Morgan. together. You okay, Reverend? Yes. I will say a prayer for Miss O'Shea. Say a prayer for all of us. Or maybe he isn't, I don't know. It just seems like he's getting his act a bit more together. Can we... Oh, we can actually take some food. That's nice. These times are easy. How are you feeling? About as good as can be expected. That's the spirit. We are ready to roll. <sighs> okay. What are we going? I have a feeling this is not going to yeah. go well. It's usually the same story with that they don't have the money right now. 
But we've already been to Ansberg and we've overheard some conversations. And is it like was it seven dollars? There we go. A week or something that they're making? Hold on, I gotta shoot this. Bird. Hey! Hey, who are you? No 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 stay away Sons of bitches Oh god Oh crap Tell me they're not taking my horse. Oh no, now they're both here. Oh lord. Let's go, girl. Why is he standing there? Come on! That's weird. Yeah, they're quite annoying. That's it. Can you make your own way to camp? Or... Yep. I hope so. Probably not. <laughs> I think it's just the horse we borrowed. I don't remember where it came from. Oh, shut your mouth. Okay. Ooh, that was not a path. That tricked me. <laughs> okay. I already feel a little bit bad for the people here because they don't really have a I don't think they have another option and they're already working in a mine. For almost no pay. Am I gonna be in the mine? Are we going in the mine? That could be fun. Alright there. You got any business at the mine? Hey, buddy. Now I'm looking for an Arthur Londonderry. I was told he works here. Londonderry? Oh, you'll want to speak to the foreman. He's down in the pit. That means we're going in? Oh, no. Partner? Hello? Mister? You've been the cause of enough sorrow around here. What do you mean? Just passing through, don't want no problem. Hey there. Hello. As far as I recall, I didn't do nothing. Hello, mister. Sir. It's very dark in here, I'm sorry. Did we just jump? Whoop. Right, I've turned up the brightness, I hope that's better. Arthur London there. She here? I'm sorry, feller, but you're too late! Arthur's dead! <laughs> The man's dead. What's wrong with you? Oh boy, you can't exactly beat it out of him now, can you? <laughs> you he might died? get something off his widow just across from Butcher's Creek, but I'd hurry. You ain't gonna be the only one a knocking. 
You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Hey, I ain't the godforsaken money lender. Neither am I. I'm just a collector. Wait. Huh. That is quite far. How do I... Oh, shortcut. Asshole. Hello, sir. Hello. On your way now. I am. Here's private Whoa! Are you kidding me? What the? Shut the. I do was I running too closely uh oh that's a lawman run yeah. did I breathe the precious air too close to him like the idiot literally Let me. Let me in. Gotta love video game logic. It's amazing sometimes. <sighs> well, I guess now it's time to go refresh my drink. So we don't have a bounty on us. That's always something. We literally, literally have to leave. But you creak. Now it's available. We're going back. Okay then. Is. You gonna pack all your stuff, Angel? I don't wanna go. It'll be an adventure? I don't want an adventure. I want my daddy. Be brave, sweet angel. Be brave. Fine. <coughs> uh, Mrs. London Derry. <coughs> Off is dead. I know. I'm sorry for it. It's just... We lent Arthur some money, you see, and... So it was you. You son of a bitch. What do you want now? You want my boy's shoes? You want the food out of our bellies, what little there is? You want me to lie down for you? No, no. I... Arthur gave everything to pay your bills. Everything. And now there's some fellas coming to take the house. There ain't nothing left, mister. I uh, just wanted to say the debt's canceled and to uh, take this. It won't bring your husband back, I know. You need money and I don't. Well, you're a good man. I just wish you'd done it before he worked himself into the grave. Me too. But you know, maybe you and your friend that lent him the money could do things differently. Like, not threaten a man. 
Excuse me. I'm sorry, ma'am. I really am. I like how <clears throat> it's not even an option to collect the debt. I know she says she doesn't have, but has the money, but you know, that hasn't really stopped Dorothy no. before. And it's kind of great in a way to see him change. I don't know if it was him becoming sick and him knowing yeah. that he might not have a lot of time left that is just or that he's finally yeah I, I don't know what it is with him but it's nice to see I think he's always expressed how Oh, he doesn't like being the bad guy going to collect the money. Like he doesn't want to do that and he doesn't agree with what Strauss is doing. I don't really think anyone in the game kind of agrees with it. Even Micah doesn't like it. You think it's worse than killing, I think. I think he said that. It's been a little while, hasn't it? Couldn't get enough of this place then, huh? <laughs> it has been a letter from the mayor's. Oh no. Uh, am I in trouble? You look like I feel. And how's that? Death. Or in my case, like dying. Well, how's that for a welcome? I'm sorry. How can I help you? Drink so damn much, I'm saying shape soon. Dear Mr. Kilgore. These are troubling times of City Hall with the resignation of Mayor Lee. But civic business continues. The new mayor has asked Man, that you be formally commended for your recent you services to the city of St. Denis. Please accept this token of, of the gratitude of the citizenry along with a personal message from the mayor. The scandal will pass and we will be stronger than ever. Wait. He got him! Did he? So, the guy who I cannot remember the name of, did he actually, you know, go through with, you know, getting the mayor to, or causing a scandal with what he's been doing? It's good to see you again. Figured you were long done with Van Horn. Have a look around, see what you oh, might need. Dougie. Okay, let me Ooh, just... Look at you, been on a bit of a spree, have you? What are you talking about? Ah, nothing, just thought you looked a bit peakier than when I last saw you, don't mind me. This is hard. Wait, I pressed the wrong button. Okay, what have you got? Okay. I love his accent. Special miracle tonic. Hmm. Okay. Thank you. Is that other mission? Oh, it's the guy. Hamish Sinclair. And we also need to go to Saint Denis again. And we also need to go free John. <laughs> okay, but first things first. <sighs> Let's go do the Edith mission. I was gonna go do that right away after we exited the mine, but you guys saw what happened. <laughs> it's not 
Oh, sorry. It wasn't necessarily. And also, we needed to go and finish that other quest. Yeah. I think we're gonna wait with Sinclair for the next video, and then I'd like to go and help out Sadie. Hopefully the doll won't be on our ass when we get into town. I didn't mean to antagonize the other guy, I was trying to see if I could interrupt him because I thought he was going to shoot the other guy in the face. Doing, I was hoping I could stop it, but... Out the way now. I said hell, even a blind hog finds an acorn every once in a while. <laughs> there she is. Hey, you want company, boys? Sure, because I want to be pissing needles tomorrow. <laughs> Mrs. Down. Oh, go away. Just go away. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, but I... Well... Well, you're sorry. Yeah, I heard you. But... I mean... Well, I... I this country... Is man unleashed. That's the thing. And it ain't my fault any more than is man anyone else. Man unleashed? Then unleash goodness. Not just Hell's feeble brothers, sir. But how? I mean, all I know how to do is fight. I guess. I was set free to fight. Where's your son, Mrs. Down? Oh, where you think. Down the mine. Until he gets sick. Which won't be long, given how hard they work him. See, Foreman don't like him, so he gets the worst of it. Maybe I could go with well, Maybe you could just leave us all alone. Maybe, maybe you could just go fight some other battle. What happened to her skin? I don't recall it looking back, going back to the mine. Because it went so good the last time. Try him the horse near me when it's gonna go south again. Actually, it's not sure. I'm not sure it's gonna want to come with me when I'm on a mission. All right now. Actually, let me just have Arthur eat something. Hey, boy! <laughs> hey, boy, your mom's a whore, little boy. Be quiet, Mr. Dockery. Oh, your mom's a whore, and that's a goddamn fact. 
Hey, anybody want to get lucky tonight? Go home here with Archie. <laughs> Why don't you shut up? Oh, oh all right. Oh. <laughs> Who's this, your daddy? My daddy died. And this man, he killed him. What are you doing here? Leave the boy alone. Why'd you kill his daddy? You after his mama? <laughs> Stop bullying the boy. Get out of my business, mister. Leave the boy alone. Or what? Or I'll kill you too. You couldn't kill no one. Look at you, all ragged and sick and weak. Clear off, you goddamn hermit. Clear off! You and the horse son here. Oh god. Uh, can't even fight uh, your own I did, uh. Get off me. You just made it a lot worse for that boy. I'm gonna tear you to pieces. Oh god. Take your hands off me. Who shot that, huh? Uh. Got him. Uh, who's next? Let the boy go. Let him go! Come on, me. Shame on you. He's just a goddamn boy! Let's get you out of here. But they're gonna kill me. Now I got no job, and they're gonna kill me. I've got some money. You and your mama can go someplace nice. Well, why are you doing this? I don't know. Listen, take this. All of it. Try and talk to your mama and get out of here. Now run. I'll try. Good boy. I don't want to see you here again. Like, I, I get why he's doing it. I do. Alright, girl. Uh, he knows he's the reason that they're there and that they're in that situation. It's his fault. Well, let's say if the guy was sick with tuberculosis then he was you know dead anyway but yeah I'm not sure if his if the damage that Arthur did killed him I'm pretty sure he was if he was the guy that was sick That would I'm not sure. Because there was quite a while in between when he died and But that might just be um Because yeah. it took me forever to get to that point of the game. See I think Arthur feels a bit guilty about it all since he didn't want to go and collect the money in the first place. That's just how the business model is. here you're okay you're okay they're gone get out of here while you can get away from me 
Yo. Huh. A dollar? Wow. Okay, girl. That's so weird. They could have left if they wanted to. I should probably go and sell the other horse. Okay. Let's go give Strauss a piece of our mind. Telling we're done with his stupid business. <gasps> Look at him, his nightgown. How did you get on, Mr. Morgan? Just Danny. Hmm. Just... Get up. What? Get up! What? What is wrong? Nothing's wrong. Nothing at all. What are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Get your bag. Is this it? I don't understand. I ain't gonna kill you. Well, I probably should. You disgust me. And you shame us. If we could be shamed any more than we already are, that should do. Go! I don't understand you. What are you doing? Go and get a job! Look at his little socks! They, they say the sick delude themselves. I was your friend. You and me, we ain't decent. But those folk, they was. Now here. Take that. Take that and get lost. I'm leaving. <coughs> I was not expecting that. That's for sure. But good on you, Arthur. I don't what know. Are you up to now, Morgan? I'm just looking, Bill. You? Are you gonna throw me out like Strauss? Maybe, if it comes to it. Okay, guess I'll leave you to it then. Sure thing, Morgan. Hi, Micah. Reverend Swanson. I don't know if I would say or ask if he blames Strauss hey there. for getting sick. I don't know if if that's where we are or if he's... I know it also has something to do with him being tired of doing his his dirty work, collecting the money and, and stuff like that, but... No, everything combined. You all right? Yeah. Hello. No la puedo expresar. Voy a esconder tu languido gemido. Allá en la tumba va a poder descansar. Yo no siento el que me haya Yo no siento el que me hayas amado. So, you got tired of making money, did you, Black Lung? Go to hell. Well, I guess it's true what they say. You can't take it with you. But Herr Strauss, I thought you liked helping the weak. I can piss off. You're ruining the moment. I don't like helping you. 
Very amusing. Just try to stop making more trouble for us. Some of us are trying to save folk. Not make unnecessary. No la puedo expresar. Ugh. Piss off. Thank you. See, now we missed it. I was trying to enjoy the moment. That one always puts a smile on my face. Can you sing it more, please? Without a shit face interrupting you? Well, I suppose I should try to clear my head. Do you guys notice how Mike is always around Dutch now? Hi, Arthur. Well, here we are. I can't believe that bitch ratted on us. If she was even telling the truth, the girl was crazy. Gonna call her a bitch, really? Oh, Dutch! <laughs> I'd apologize, but don't feel like it. Hello, Mr. Morgan. Nobody can say you ain't loyal, Bill. Without that, what is it? True. He's singing again. Una triste calandria lloraba su prisión. Ay Dios, no hay remedio. Ay Dios, no hay piedad. Me roba ese reposo. Y adiós tranquilidad. Hasta un gorrioncito amoroso la yo y dijo mi bonita te quiero mucho yo. Hasta un gorrioncito amoroso la yo y dijo mi bonita te quiero mucho yo. You feeling bonita? Ay Dios no hay remedio. Ay Dios no hay piedad. Me robas el reposo. Y adiós tranquilidad. Y luego la calandria le dijo y le juro, me sacas de prisión, me voy contigo yo. Y luego la calandria le dijo y le juro, me sacas de prisión, me voy contigo yo. Ay Dios, no hay remedio. Ay Dios, no hay piedad. Me robas el reposo. Y adiós tranquilidad. Yay. You go, Javier. How is you all, city for her tree and all? All my world traveling and roaming around. <laughs> the contrast. Fair maiden, so lovely. <laughs> There's two people in the world. <laughs> two types of people. Ring it, Andrew. Who wouldn't want to fall asleep listening to that? Oh, what are you gonna do? <laughs> well, should we see if he's put anything in the journal about the Strauss thing? 
Met a one-legged man, war veteran, interesting fella, said to come by his cabin on the other side of Okree's run. Maybe I will? Went back <clears throat> and someone or something had killed the professor. His mechanical creature had been stolen. Or did he talk about... People who were after his creations or something. I'm not sure. I ain't John Mark. I ain't Sean Mark, you fool. And he's now the mayor. I guess that's good. Limix, Limix is done for. He did! Oh, that's good for him. For some insane reason, I went out gathering depths for Strauss. Whole business revolted revolted me, bunch of sad des desperate bastards and me their worst nightmare. I had enough of the whole business so I ran Strauss out of camp. Whole business of loaning revolted me, turns out it's going to kill me too, so I guess that's about right. Probably did Strauss a favor running him out of camp but either way, I could not bear to see his beady little eyes no more. Okay, it was something like that. Said that poor soldier and his squaw wife will be with me when I die. We have another with Edith. Okay. Let me... Let us... Go... Do that because we just... Yeeted her son out of town. And then after that I promise we're gonna go and do Sadie's mission. <laughs> yeah. And hopefully go and get John. It's just I really enjoy the side missions. They... You know, some are better than others, that's for sure. But I feel like, you know, the more the game progresses, the more unique some of them become. I feel like the majority of them have been very unique. But they're just- oh wait, I haven't- have I noticed this? Let's go. And I really like doing them. I'm gonna try and do as many side missions that I can. This is the one. Kill him, boy. Oh shit. Just gonna run because I feel like I didn't really have a good chance at hiding anywhere or, go, or get to cover. And if they decide to go into town, I think the law is gonna. Well, they're not gonna go into town. If they were stupid enough to try and follow me. Oh, that's the son. Can he not find his mom? What's going on? Mr. Morgan. You still here, kid? Yes. Mama. Mama can't leave. It won't leave. I, I don't know. I said I had the money. It, she said your money weren't moral. She said it'd be better to die than to take it. 
Maybe she's right. I don't know. I don't know anything about morals. She's still heading out. Working, you know? I'm sorry, son. Sorry about all of this. She ain't been back for a few hours. She left with some fella down the railway tracks. I did not like the look of him. Which way, you say? Uh, that way. Around the woods, towards, uh, Willard's Rest. Oh, no. I'll see what I can do. Please. Let's go, girl. Please, for the love of God, let not this man become an infant. Infant? What am I talking about? Without a mom or a dad. Tree in my way. Excuse me. Unknown animal. Wait, what? This. man, dearie. A kind man. Sure. I ain't always nice. Sometimes I can be real nasty. That's enough now, partner. <sighs> You're starting to scare me, let alone the poor woman. Clear off. Who are you? Someone who don't want to hear no more of your nasty mouth. Push me. I'll put a bullet in you. I, I presume Archie sent you? I said clear off before I deal with you. See you again, dearie. Ooh. Listen. Listen to me. <coughs> Excuse me. You sound like my husband. I know. Listen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what happened. I was, uh... A fool. And I'm suffering from my foolishness. But don't go and get yourself killed because of your pride. You have a son, Mrs. Downs. I'm just so ashamed. Ashamed? <laughs> of what? <laughs> you loved him? <laughs> You did everything for him. Let's get you home. All right. Let's go. Take Edith back to Ansburg. I don't know if it changes the outcome if you demand her. I feel like that was not Let's go, girl. the position to demand anything from her. Or even after everything, you know, we've caused her. I don't think it's 
right to demand anything. I'm sorry it had to come to this. Stop saying sorry. Sorry won't bring Thomas back. I know. <laughs> so you're sick now too? And you think that affords you the opportunity for penance for cutting his time short? No. I ain't looking for that. Okay then. So just forget about me and the guilt you're carrying because no good can come of that for either of us. And all you can do now is decide the man you want to be for the time you have left. Help someone who could still be helped. Or help yourself. I suppose you're right. Oh, hang yourself for all I care. You're My right to dislike God. me. I ain't looking for that to change. I mean, I get not liking or, you know, despising someone. Archer should be waiting for us just up ahead. But to be like, just, you know, telling someone to go and end themselves, it's just, it's not okay. Mama! Mama! Oh, oh. oh hey, you silly boy. Oh, Archie, what do we do? Get out of here. Go. Live someplace else. Start over. Here, take this. I don't need it no more. I don't want your money. Yeah, I know you don't want it. I don't. You sure as shit need it. Take it. No. I ain't looking for forgiveness. It ain't about that. But don't forgive me. Just take the money and get out of here. Please. I know I ruined your life. I suffer for it every day. But don't let yourself get killed for, for pride. I've seen it kill too many folk. Don't say anything. Don't thank me. Just take the money and pack your bags. That's all I gotta say. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. I said don't thank me. Get out of here. Please. See, I can't really figure out in my head he's trying to make amends with, you know, what he's done because he already didn't like what he was doing, but he did it anyway. And he know, as I, like I, I talked about before, he know he's the reason they're in the position. And since he's in a position, you know, to help them on their way to something better that I think anything would be better than what they had going for them. I think it's very, I don't know, it's very noble of him. And he's, he's just trying to do the, the right thing. You gotta admire him for that. He's a good man. I knew it all along. <laughs> That's us! <laughs> the bank robber. Yeah, I guess Arthur might as well... You know, with the whole money situation, he might as well just give it... Start giving it a little bit away to some people who will need it more than him. I don't know if that's like a realization that he's having that he's not gonna need that kind of money or anything really. 
there's really no purpose. Yeah, I don't know if that also has something to do with it. Like, they were so... Everything they've done, you know, is for money. What is he doing? Bring up. Somebody's had a few. I guess so. <laughs> and I also understand that they needed money to for their goal that they had yeah. to get out of the country, leave the country, buy some land. Yeah, now I guess Arthur doesn't really have any goal anymore except for you know maybe taking care of the people around him making sure that you know they're safe That's fine, he's going to prison that guy. <laughs> Don't feel the need to save him. I'm not sure though, this is just what I'm reading from the situation. Okay, there's gators out here. I did not realize. Sadie? Oh, she's right there. With Abigail. The thing is, Sadie, I really can't. I must come. He's my husband. I know he's your husband, but it's gonna be. Well, it's gonna be violent. I can handle myself just fine. I insist. Insist all you like. Ain't happening. Arthur, tell her. Tell her what? She ain't coming with us to collect her husband. I... Abigail, you ain't coming. That's the end of the matter. See, there you heard him. Now let's go. But... But nothing. It'll be quicker and easier with just the two of us. Plus, John will be calmer without worrying about you. Ain't complicated. Well, well, I ain't the crying sort, but I'm real grateful. Yeah, we know you are. We'll bring him back to you. Thank you! Thank you both! Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Right. We'll get him. Here goes nothing. Go get your man. The place is surrounded by marshland. Should hopefully give us a bit of cover to move in close enough to find a spot and look for John. This time of day, prisoners will probably be working the fields. Then all we gotta do is take out all the guards and row our way out of there. Seems simple enough. <sighs> Not my opinion. Oh, man. <laughs> Gotta go save the guy. The man. The myth. The legend. Okay, bring us over. Oh, that guy's doing a great job. Good? Let's head for that watchtower. Okay. Stay low. Like how Arthur's running. <laughs> Arthur, stay low. Guys, boy. Are we gonna get a sniper? Ooh. Stealth kill. Ow. Okay. Come on up. Where is it? <gasps> Don't we already have one of these? I think it's gonna be better than the Lancaster. Maybe. 
What else do we have with us? Bolt action rifle. Uh, where's John? Do I need to look too? Do you see him? Isn't he right there? There's a group in front of that barn just to our right. Oh, yeah. I see two guards. Okay. Take them out and let's go get our boy. Okay. Paul oh, is gonna be fun. Just don't die, Sadie. Um, oh. Wait, shit! I don't think that was John. Well, let's go over there and see. Okay. Really? Come on. I think one of those guards was still moving. How? Hmm. Well, maybe it was. It was a bit difficult to see. Ugh. Keep moving. Where is he? Oh, Tom. See him. No. You, Mister. You know John Marsden? I, he ain't. He ain't working today. Oh, put the gun down, lady. No. You put the gun down. Now. How did you not see him? <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Where's John Marston? Uh, uh, he ain't in the work detail today. Okay, well, I guess we'll go uh, and get him together. Uh, uh, Try anything, and I'll blow your damn head off. You clear on that? Yes, very clear. Oh, ain't no, no way. No. Come on, partner. <clears throat> Why gonna don't go. you apologize to the lady for pointing a gun at her? Excuse me? I said apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. Ain't no harm done. So, where do we go? Towards the entrance, I guess. And who's in charge of this fine establishment? Jameson, sir. Jameson who? No, Mr. Jameson. Huston Jameson. Uh, is he a nice fella? No! Uh, He's been quite an exacting boss at times. I look forward to meeting him. They're... they're not gonna let you do this. Well, that's gonna be up to you, my friend. Are they gonna sacrifice the life of one? <sighs> Please. So, you a popular employee, my friend? Not especially. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Oh, shit. Oh, sorry. It's getting quite late for me. It's almost 11 p.m. I've been up since 6 a.m. Guess we'll see. We're going to have to shoot our way out of here regardless. So excuse me if I'm a little bit tired. Boy, you guys! There you Sadie, right in front of his friends. Come on, please. Okay, friend, be cool now. Just do as I say. Grab the goddamn guns! Let's hope they don't have dead eye, or we're screwed. Sissica? Jameson! Is Jameson in? He's in South Denise. They got Milliken. Got him and gonna kill him. Unless you bring me John Marston right now. What's the plan afterwards? You got one minute. I'm counting. One, two, three. Um, uh, Milliken, uh, is it? Yes, sir. Will you count for me? I got talking to do. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> of course, sir. <clears throat> 
from one or four Oh, so? very funny. No, we must be at 11 by now. 11, 12, <laughs> 13, <laughs> faster. 14, 15, 16, 17. Uh, hurry up. <laughs> well, this poor fool's gonna get his brain shot out. <laughs> and over what? For nothing. Uh, Milliken, don't stop counting. I can't hear you. Hurry up and bring that asshole out here, you bastards. Come on. Don't cry, buddy. I don't want to die. Yeah, I know, I know. Oh, hey. little pat hey. on the back. John, blow you too. Now, no funny business. Well, Mr. Mannequin here will stop crying once and for all. Okay, today's your lucky day. Let's go. <laughs> oh, we're actually shooting them? I was ready to run. <laughs> You're done for. You're done for. Oh god, there's a lot. Oh god. Not the water, not the water. I'll leave the hat. Here comes the wall. Get down. Been a while, John. You're telling me. What Ooh. took you so long? Ooh. I'll explain later. Thank you. And the Ooh. Nice shot, yeah. Cam. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm trying. Oh, shit. I am such in the best spot okay, right now. Time to Can I please? Gotta go. Look out on the left. Coming from the board. Ooh. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, oh god. Let's go. This gun is amazing. Oh god. If I could. Oh god. Just run. Just run. Just run. <laughs> More behind us. Find some cover. Ah. Ah. I got these. We're gonna die here. Probably will. Oh shit. John, go in my way. Oh my god. We gotta move! How we get back? Right in the neck! We got a boat! This way! Follow me! Get down! Hold them up so we can get to the boat! Come behind you! Should we maybe this is better? Oh, I'm sorry. I get very confused when we run and when we shoot, obviously. You always seem to need rescue at first. Uh, nice to see you, Arthur. Uh, there's some fellas coming here. Don't look too friendly. We best get out of here. Come on, boys. Let's move. I'll roll. You shoot. Seriously? Let me. You... You're a better shot. All right, fine. You just relax and enjoy yourself, John. Leave the real work to them as can still handle it. <laughs> Thanks. Keep them off us. I'm gonna try. Turn around or we will gun you down. Oh, God. Where did you come from? Ah! Oh, shit. You know, I think I liked you better when you was all trussed up like a prize chicken. No doubt. Oh, hurry up! 
They're gonna be on our tails soon enough if you boys keep wasting time. Oh, that's us told, Dan. Ugh. Hey, Arthur. Thank you. Don't mention it. Let's go. We should get out of here quick before the law gets wind of this. What is that horse doing here? Can John just take that one? So what the hell happened in San Denis? Is Abigail all right? She's fine. Jack is too. She managed to escape when they got Hosea. Hosea? That still don't seem real somehow. All them years. Arthur. He was like... Like family. Yeah, we lost young Lenny too. No. What a goddamn mess. Oh, and then we, we haven't even seen half of it. What about the the money? Lost somewhere at the bottom of the ocean. What? How the hell did that happen? <laughs> we hit on a boat. It's the only way out of there. The boat went down in a storm and we ended up stranded on an island somewhere near Cuba. Cuba? Wait, you're gonna have to tell me all this again. It's a long story, but things ain't been good, John. <laughs> you're telling me. We're holed up now in the mountains to the north, near Roanoke Ridge, and some caves there. The Pinkertons caught up with us again, and we had to move. Yeah, seems Molly ratted us out, the bitch. So she's dead, too. Jesus! Maybe you should have just left me to hang. And... Uh, I should warn you, Dutch didn't want us breaking you out. Said it wasn't the right time, so... Might not be the hero's welcome you're imagining. So much for no man left behind. I can't stop thinking about this. In the bank, when they grabbed me, he saw it. Felt almost like he had a, a moment to do something and didn't. Dutch ain't himself right now. Or has been, has maybe been he while. just ain't who we thought he was. Guess that too. we don't need to worry about who's his favorite no more. Huh. Yes, not. It's Micah. One hundred percent. Little snake. The weasel. The rat. Well, hello, hello. You brought him back to me. We told you we would. John! What are you doing here? It's good to see you too, partner. I meant I hadn't sent for you yet. I went. But I said that. Yeah, I know what you said. I felt different. Is that so? Yes. Can't you just be and happy to when see him? and John brings the law down on all of us, what then, Arthur? Well, I guess we'll have another fight on our hands. Loyalty, Arthur, it ain't. I had a goddamn plan! John! John, you are my brother. You are my son. I was coming for you. They, they was talking of hanging me, Dutch. They was talking. They was talking. And now they may come and hang us all. Like Dutch anymore. Really don't like him. Arthur. He's got Mike all over him. Oh, sorry. I was miles away, thinking of uh, 
I don't know. Dutch said to tell you he and Mike have gone to Annisburg. Something about Mr. Cornwall. Oh, of Cornwall. course they have. Okay. Thanks, Mary Beth. Sweetheart. You know, it just seems like, you know, everywhere is she, is she coming to thank us? Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, he ain't done yet, Abigail. Dutch seems. Till yeah, he is. Mine, I know. Just be careful. I don't have to be careful. I, I have you as a friend. Oh. Sweet girl. Sweet woman. Not exactly a welcome home party. Well, you warned me. I'll fill you in some more later. Well, try to keep your head straight. All right then, Arthur. Yeah, it, it seems like, you know, everywhere Dutch goes now, Mike is there too. They're plotting something and I don't like it. Tell it. Hi, Arthur. You doing all right? What is going on with you all? You're acting like children. <laughs> it's like a kindergarten. I'm trying to work it out. All right. All right, Arthur. Where's Kane? Has anyone seen Kane? Oh, Where's no. Where's Kane? Miss Grimshaw, have you seen Kane? Oh, no, son. Sorry, I haven't. I'm sure he'll turn up, though. He's a wanderer. I'm really worried. Kane! Come on! Kane! Oh, yeah. Kane! No, I haven't seen the dog, I'm too. I'm sure he'll turn up. He's been gone a while. Well, he'll be back when he's hungry. Oh, no. I don't like that. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Yeah, sure. Oh, I didn't even notice. Oh. oh. Did what had to be done. I know you did. I'm not saying anything. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Morgan, you don't look very well. Uh, I'm not, Reverend. <clears throat> I fear I'm pretty sick. I'm so sorry. You seem well, on the other hand. Yes, sir. I've stopped all that silly business. I think I'm okay. That's, well, that's wonderful news. <laughs> it is. How? I don't know. I met a Catholic lady, a nun, and we prayed, and it was lifted. The curse was lifted. Good. I can't believe it. Really, I can't. All those years I wasted. going on over here gentlemen you really don't see any of this do you get away from me you traitor what the excuse hell me about? bill being too dumb to see the woods for the tree oh uh, he's just taking it hard i think Taking well, what don't hard? Give up on everything just yet. Be strong. He's too dumb to see it for how it is. He's loyal. I'll give him that. Loyal oh, the Dutch. Stupid. See. Okay. Guess I'll see you later then. All right, Arthur. I see. Okay, that's how it is. Javier. Arthur. Hard to believe it's come to this. We gotta stay behind Dutch. That's the only way. I'm not sure I agree about that. Oh, look who it is. Hello, Karen. <sighs> look who it is. Oh, Arthur. Big tough, Arthur. <laughs> you wanna know something, Arthur? What? I don't, I 
hold on. I had something to say. I did. Take it easy, Karen. On the hooch. Why? Because a good sober life will bring me peace and contentment? What a crock of shit this world is. A year? It is, but... Well, try to keep your head straight. Okay, Arthur. Not now, Williamson. What happened to the good old days when you robbed some nasty folk, have a party? We had a good run, didn't we? We're still breathing, so we keep going. <laughs> Barely breathing at this point. No pun intended. Ah, Pearson. The big man! <laughs> the big man! Don't make me hate Bill too. Sure he was... You know, a little bit unique, but I... I didn't have anything against him. Oh my goodness. <gasps> I do want to go do that though. Well, it makes sense that we're wanted. <laughs> of course it does. I don't know what, don't know what I was expecting. Can we pay off the bounty? I'm not sure. I don't think so. Okay. We're gonna go to the other lady. Or the lady in the woods. The letter has arrived for you. Return. Hold up. Camp to read this. A letter? From who? I swear to god if it's from Mary. Which it probably is. What's your money on, guys? She's the only one where the letters have arrived to the camp. Wait, can I please? There you go. Dear sir, you were once very kind to Bo <gasps> and myself, and it pains me to ask you to show us further kindness. Yes, yes. But I have nowhere else to turn and nobody else upon whom I can impose. I will, of course, pay you handsomely for your troubles. My family have turned quite mad and are threatening to send me away to stop my work, which they say is disgracing them. As if their history of absolute moral depravity, utter debauchery, and perpetual drunkenness did not disgrace them enough. I must escape, yet I am kept prisoner here. Can you help? Most days I am to be found at the cabins on the plantation. The main house and all it stood for are thankfully no more. Yours faithfully... Penelope Braithwaite. Oh, I, I, I sped everywhere. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my goodness. I love this. <sighs> okay. Oh, so many good quests to come. Now I might be afraid to answer or Susan? Someone smashed the box. What box? The money box. We'd had that for so many years. Why did they smash? Well, I don't know. Look at this place. All divided. Everyone anxious and at each other's throats. I'm heartbroken. Yeah, me too. Me too. So we can't donate anymore? I got a little bit too excited there. Oh. 
What was I talking about? Hey, you're okay, girl. Okay. We'll probably go do this main mission, and then we have so many good quests, side quests for the next part. Oh, I'm excited for the Penelope one. As long as we're able to help them out. If it's gonna go south, I don't know what to do about it. I hope to pay off the bounty, but I'm... We've never been wanted dead or alive before, except for Blackwater, where we haven't gone. And the first time we tried to go there, it did not go well. I just got over the border and lawmen everywhere. They were on my ass. It's not a good time. So, to say I'm a little bit nervous. Evening, mister. <gasps> we found it. So, I don't think we could pay the bounty. Uh, there's no, probably not even a bounty. Wouldn't think it would be wise to go into a town where you're wanted, dead or alive. Good to see you again, Mister. Hey, bounty. Ready for a clean slate? Yep. No, we can't. Amazing. Thank you. All right. It's gonna be hell to go to Saint Denis now. Oh my god! Uh-oh. Was you followed? No! Was you followed? I said no! <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is your problem? What is your problem, partner? You don't, uh... <laughs> You don't look so good. What is wrong with you? Nothing wrong with me. I'm fit as a fiddle. And I inside you ain't. I'm just a realist, friend. Micah reckons there's a rat. Oh, does he? On what evidence? He's only back a minute. Pinkerton show up. <laughs> We've been on the run since you two fools went crazy in Blackwater. We barely escaped with our lives in Saint Denis. Now we got a rat. Well, Molly clearly talked, but who else? Maybe we pushed things too hard. Uh, Maybe that guy. Time for folks like us is past. We don't need a rat. We got sloppier than the town drunk, and they know who we are, and where we are, and what we're doing. The way I see it, best thing we can do is let the week go. Move on, get our money, and start over. That ain't happening. Well, something's gotta happen, and fast. Otherwise, Cornwall, them Pinkertons, they've got us panned in here, and ain't none of them stopping. Well, Cornwall's why we're here. Shall we, Dutch? Yeah, it's time to go. Let's head to the river. Oh, leave Cornwall alone. He ain't. We need money, but revenge now? Of course it's for money. Come on, Arthur. This better not be no stupid revenge mission, Dutch. It ain't worth it. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, Arthur, it's just a simple social call. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Calm down, calm down, calm down. So what are we going to say to him that needs to be said? He has been hunting us since Valentine. He is the reason. That Hosea got killed. His sugar business is destroying the people of Guarma. This town, Arthur, is his town. He bought it just to destroy these folks. His sugar, his oil, his law. These are wrongs that you can't right, Dutch. We're wanted men. <laughs> so why did you go for John against my wishes? I didn't want him hanged. Neither did I. We're gonna cut a deal, Arthur. 
What are you talking about? We want out, and Cornwall wants us to stop robbing him, and we all know his money is what's keeping the Pinkertons on our tail. He's America, Arthur, and I want out, and he, he won't let us go. This ain't making a lot of sense, Dutch. No, it's we really will, not. <laughs> so stupid. A deal, some noise, and then we're gone. A deal? What do you have to... If you let us go, we're not gonna rob you. At dawn. We'll wait it out here. Get down behind these crates so no one sees us. Yeah, this is such a good hiding spot. Oh, I'm sorry, am I? Okay. gonna rob you if you let us go like you have nothing to offer the man oh, thank you for your hospitality mr cornwall this was a business meeting mr milton we are not friends i have spent oh, would a you look at that fortune with your agency and still nothing this vanderlyn robs me and laughs at me i asked for the best I paid for the best. We are very close, Mr. Cornwall. Oh, I know you've heard this than before. You know. Can't, sir. Send a telegram to Goldberg in New York. Tell him I won't borrow it more than 3.2%. Sorry, no, I have heard it before. And get that army man to pay his portage charge. Yes, sir. We are doing all we can within the confines of the law. The law? I think we both know what you can do with your law. Find me Dutch Vanderlyn. Bring him here and leave the laws to them as need them. Good Dumb. day, sir. Come along, Dumb. Mr. Ross. We have work to do. Mr. Didsbury. Mr. Cornwall. Now listen up, Didsbury. What's all this about strikes? I bought into this mine because of mismanagement. And I intend to make it a success no matter what the cost. It's the wages. Folk feel Folk that you... feel? Business doesn't give two figs about feelings, sir. Not two figs. It's a nonsense that will bring a plague on both our houses, sir. Perhaps there is a plague on your house already, Mr. Cornwall. What do you want, sir? I'm not quite sure just oh yet. God. Your impudence will be your undoing, sir. I'm undone already. Even my best friend here, he thinks I'm crazy. And like you this are. poor fellow you are talking to, my feelings are hurt. You robbed me, sir. And you robbed him. Funny world. You show a criminal's grasp of sophistry, sir. I did no such thing. You kill. I kill. You rob. I rob. Only difference I can see is I choose whom I kill and rob and you destroy everything in your path. I've heard just about enough. I'll tell you what. You give me this ship, $10,000, and safe passage out of here, I'll let you live. <laughs> I'll do no such thing! <laughs> you sure? Good. I prefer it this way. You lost your man! Noise, Arthur! No voice! Are you fucking kidding me? What did you think? I just saw them here two seconds what ago. The you done, just started a goddamn war. Oh my god, I can't see this guy. He's hiding too well. Come on! Mike is going after those papers! Let's find him and get out of here! Oh my god. Oh, I almost shot you. Did you look at that? God damn it, Dutch. Is there a guy up there? No. Oh, there. Ryan, the heart. Oh lord. Look out, up there on the left. Oh, kill him, please. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. 
Ooh. You're welcome. I found something interesting. Come on. I'm gonna say gotta thank move. you. Come on, this way. Up the stairs. They were gonna rob him and kill him. They're not gonna make a deal. Is that what I think it is? Hold on. Is it not? Maybe not. Yeah, shut up, Micah. I thought it was dynamite. I guess not. Or explosives, at least. Good job! Clear us some space. This gun is magic. Okay, good job. You said this wasn't a revenge mission. It wasn't. We got To read about this in the paper. Come on, we can take the horses from that coach. Let's go. No, I wanted that one. Well, at least we tried talking it out. Boys, lost your minds. Oh, I felt a lot of guilt in this life, Arthur. I've killed too often and poorly, but not this time, son. Come on. <laughs> All right, let's head for the hills, boys. They're trying to block us off. Go right. Isn't it funny how they literally just talked about last night that getting Marston would, you know, draw in too much attention, getting the law on us? Look what these two idiots go and do afterwards. After they've just made us, or tried to make us feel bad about, you know, saving our gang member, and I'm gonna have to try and concentrate riding a horse here. Double standards. Look out, the mountains! They're still coming! Shoot the bastard! So yeah, Dutch is playing on along with it. Yeah, let's go kill Cornwall. Surely that won't make people mad. Bring any attention. Unwanted attention. To us. Your horse booty's in the way. Whoa. We all okay? Interesting social call. Oh, don't play dumb and superior at the same time, Morgan. We all knew sooner or later Cornwall had to go. Let me see them papers. It's more attention we don't need. Feels like the whole world's closing in on us. Dutch. It won't be long before they find where we're hiding out now. 
Especially as we ain't exactly hiding out. We just need a distraction. Buy us some time. <sighs> it looks like Mr. Cornwall's company has signed a railroad contract with the army. And they're also moving dynamite down from, well, the Annisburg mines to Santa Ana to resell. And there's bonds at his oil factory. Maybe there's a way to get them off our back and get the money that we need. Mike, oh my Lord. You look into this dynamite. Take Bill, I guess. Arthur, you go too. We are gonna need a lot of it. And Mike, we need to talk. Figure out some things. Of course, boss. Figure out what? The plan. Getting out of here. Nothing's changed. It hasn't, huh? There's an old house west of Van Horn. Meet me there when you can, Black Lung. I we'll will not. Up. We'll meet up back at camp. Yeah. This is crazy. You see how they looked at each other? It just went all quiet. The plan. What plan? What are you just scheming? I'm gonna call it now, they're gonna betray everyone and all of us. Gonna either kill all of us at some point. Been a while, girl. Or have us killed. Because we are traitor. You know? What was that? Swanson? He wants to speak with us? I'm not gonna be surprised if people are gonna start leaving. Get the hell out while you still can. Steal the wagon of explosives from the army convoy en route to St. Denis from Ansburg. Yeah, I'm really not gonna be surprised if people are gonna start leaving. I would too. I would get the hell out of here after that shenanigan. Yeah, it's time to bail. It really is. I'm really sorry, I'm gonna have to end the part here, but right now, it is just the Dutch and Micah show. They're not... You know, beforehand, it was just Dutch coming up with the plans, or he would consult Hosea and... You know, people he had been... who had been in the gang for a long time. And now it's Micah and Dutch, and I, I don't like that combination. Dutch going crazy and Micah already being crazy. That is not a good cocktail, and clearly it isn't. When Bonnie and Clyde go on a murder spree in town. That was so stupid. And again, like I just said, we'd just gone and saved John. And Dutch is so mad about that. He has he had a plan and it's gonna bring unwanted attention, gonna bring the law down on us. And then literally the next thing he does is to go and kill is to go and kill Mr. Cornwall. And he had just seen the Pinkertons were there. I'm done. I'm done. I am so mad. I'm not mad. I'm just frustrated. I'm like, can someone please knock some sense into him? I can't fathom that he can't see what's going on. And people are so loyal. Even stupid Bill. People are so loyal to him because of, you know, all the years they've been with the gang. No one is saying anything because... One, Dutch, he's like a little kid when he doesn't get his way. Then there's the whole thing with loyalty and traitors, staying loyal and, you know, which to Dutch basically just means to do as he says. And it's just so, oh, I get so irritated and just frustrated. And I really hope that people are gonna start to see that he's gone rogue. And I really hope that people get out, just leave, because otherwise people are gonna get killed. They would... I don't see how this is gonna end well for them. I don't see them getting on a boat, buying some land somewhere to get peace. I don't see that happening. I really don't. So it's, go it's gonna go to shit. I really think it is. But yeah, we'll, we'll have to wait and see what happens. I think next video I need some time to calm down. 
we're gonna go and visit what was her name again up here charlotte gonna go visit charlotte i really really like her gonna hope maybe help her out um some more and then we have hamish gonna go fishing with him and then penelope so we have a lot to do maybe i would like to just for the hell of it maybe go to some of the towns like valentine and Rhodes. i would might unless something interesting happens i might cut out the travel time because i just want to go to the towns and see if there's some strange emissions because last time we were in valentine there was a strange emission and i did not know that i only went there because of the I think it was the gunslinger mission that made me go there because it, it was the only thing that popped up on the map. So I think I want to go there and see if we can if there's anything available. Might also want to you know go across Strawberry just to see and you know just checking that I'm not missing anything. And we're also in a new chapter, so that is the plan for the next video. Go and do those things first, and then. You know, do the two story missions, see if there's time for anything else. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'd really appreciate it if you leave a like on the video and subscribe to my channel. I also stream over on Twitch and you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And if you'd like to support my channel even more, you can check out the links in the description down below. That is all for me for now. So bye. Take care.